Do you prefer leisure activities that are more active, that require a little bit of movement, uh, maybe a little more competitive, perhaps you can do them outdoors, then stick around because I'm gonna show you 11 hobbies that are active um, that you can either do one-handed or I'll show you how you can adapt them so you can do them one-handed. Hi, I'm Lisa from Injury Recovery Coaching and thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos on coping. So let's get started. The first hobby I wanna talk about today is cornhole. Now cornhole is all the rage in my neck of the woods. There's two boards with a hole in it and you just toss the bean bags to try to get into the hole. There are points that can be scored and you can just go online and see uh, the instructions for that. But it's a fun game. You can compete by yourself, just try to improve your skills. And when you get good, then invite family to play along. There are two types of boards. There's the uh, official board is four by three. However, you can get boards that are two by three as well. And let me show you how you can adapt setting up the game. Now, what I did is just lower the board down with my back pulled the legs out, and then also you can see there's a bag that carries the bean bags. Bowling is the second hobby on my list. Many of you are probably familiar with this activity. If you don't have a bowling ball, then you can rent one along with some bowling shoes. Now, if you have difficulty walking, you can use a wheelchair to the approach, or you can take a chair and sit down. The main thing is you just need one strong arm to throw the ball, so have some fun. The third hobby on my list is metal detecting. Now getting a metal detector doesn't have to be expensive. You can get a new one for about a hundred bucks. Now, if you don't have a hundred bucks to spend, then you may be able to find one on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or some various pawn shops. So just be on the lookout for them. And then you can go to parks and beaches to see what you can find, see what treasures are out there. Number four on my hobby list is throwing darts. You can sit or stand, perform inside or out. The main thing to remember is to have a table nearby to hold the darts. Number five on my list is putt-putt. All you need is a putter and a golf ball. And I used a tin can for my target. Putt-putt is something that can be performed outside or inside. And if you're looking for a good family activity, then go to a local putt-putt course. Number six is fishing. Fishing is a great outdoor activity. And to help hold your rod, there are things like a hip rod holder or a bank rod holder you can purchase for a nominal fee. And they just help you reel in the fish a little more easily. Now, in order to thread the hook, I use a large clasp to hold it, and that way you can thread the worm on it. And I find if I have a really large worm, I take a knife and chop it in half and then thread it on. And when it, you do catch a fish, you can just put your foot on the fish and then use your good arm to dislodge the hook. Number seven on my list is ping pong. And as long as you have some pretty good balance, then you can play ping pong one-handed. You don't need to have a ping pong table. They do have these little kits you can just put on your dining room table and have fun inside. Number eight on my list is refinishing furniture. You can use one hand to sand, to paint, and glaze or varnish it. Number nine on the list is gardening. Now you can use raised beds or you can use containers. You can plant seeds or you can plant plants. Either way, you'll reap great rewards. Number 10 on the hobby list is photography. Now a tripod can really help stabilize that camera. And as you can see, I tucked it under the affected arm, pulled out the legs and then was able to um, stand it up and then secure the camera. If you don't have a tripod, that's fine. Just make sure you have a uh, neck strap to secure the camera as well. And you can take pictures one-handed. 
And the last hobby on my list for today is spotting. This is where you can take your binoculars and you can learn about and spot various birds, trees, animals, various architecture. You can take it to sport games. The point is, is you want to get outdoors and really appreciate nature. Hobbies are so important to help us feel better about ourselves, to feel a sense of accomplishment, to experience some joy. So if you're having difficulty getting back into your hobby or getting started with a new one, just leave me a message below and I'll get back to you and we'll see if we can problem solve this for you. So get out there, have some fun, have a great day.